Window strikes by birds are sometimes annoying if they happen repetitively, but oftentimes they happen on large skyscrapers, mirrored monoliths that attract birds uh, during the daytime. And at nighttime as well, when the lights are left on in migratory season, when thousands of birds are flying south or returning from the south to the north. But the one thing that we get a lot of calls for at Salt Haven is window strikes by birds in their homes. In fact, most window strikes by birds are done in homes rather than tall buildings. But there are some ways that we can circumvent that. The early spring is really the, one of the toughest seasons. Uh, birds become very territorial. Even in the middle of February, they're starting to pair up and uh, starting to, that nesting mating behavior. And if they see another bird in their territory, they're going to find out a way to get them. And usually it's just their own reflection that they're seeing. Birds don't see glass. They see their reflection. Another time that birds are often at risk with window strikes is when a predator is in the area, like a cooper's hawk or a sharp shin, or sometimes even a cat that's outside. The birds will fly off of a bird feeder and strike a window with full force, leaving them with a, a severe head trauma or at least incapacitated to the point where they're easy prey for predators. The one way to avoid that is to move your bird feeders a little bit closer to the window and uh, they don't have an opportunity to build up a full head of steam by way of speed before they hit that window and oftentimes their downtime is just temporary, still allowing them to escape. FLAP, F-L-A-P. It's a uh, acronym for Fatal Light Awareness Program. It's a group out of Toronto that have some excellent solutions for window strikes. Patterned window films seem to be the answer. You can still see out, but the birds don't see their reflection in the window. And so they're not prone to hitting the window in the case of a, a predator in the area or for territorial aggression. It would seem that most window strikes happen on a south-facing window. The reflection from, because of the sun being in the south, the reflection is more dramatic. And birds have a tendency to be more aggressive with those type of windows, especially in the spring. Territorial aggression by birds that see the reflection in windows can go on for most of the spring and well into the summer. So it just makes sense that you want to take precautions to not only help the birds not hurt themselves, but also to stop the annoying process of birds repeatedly hitting your window as often as every 30 seconds. Salt Haven's experience with window strikes has been fairly dramatic over the last several years. It seems more and more birds are coming to Salt Haven that have head trauma, and sometimes these head traumas don't do very well. The brain swells and that part of the brain dies if the bird doesn't get to us right away. So all of these solutions will help to alleviate that and uh, some of them are very cost effective and with a little bit of ingenuity, no cost at all.